Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's uh, Germs here, and I apologize for the lack of formality in this video. Um, I mean, I'm in my trackies, my pajama top, my comfy, comfy moon chair, and there's no editing in this video, uh, just because I feel that there doesn't need to be. Just me walking to and from the camera, that, that's fine to end the video and start the video. But anyway, uh, welcome to my first video, and I thought since I was uh, on my laptop over there and watching YouTube and all that, and I saw came across a video, Mass Effect 4 survey. So I went and did it, and I've come to talk to you. Basically, the Mass Effect 4 survey is if you're a fan of Mass Effect, you like RPGs, or something about Mass Effect didn't appeal to you or something you want to change from uh, the third one. Uh, basically the questions were like what games do you play and what have you played recently then it goes to uh, what are you looking forward to most in, in your next Mass Effect experience in order from most to least and it's like customization, combat, story and exploration I believe and then it goes on to other things like what do you like most in RPGs and top threes and stuff. But I didn't make a video to tell you what's on a survey because I would be stupid. Uh, I came to talk to you guys about what my opinions are on why Bioware have done this survey in the first place. Because it is an official survey by Bioware. I forget who it's by. Uh, probably should know that, but I do not. My thinking, or my reasoning for thinking this way, is basically, I think Bioware can't, isn't comfortable making decisions by themselves uh, after the incident with the Mass Effect 3 ending. Obviously it's infamous, it was all through 2012. Everyone, I'm sure, was sick to death of hearing it. But, yeah, I think Bioware's a little bit scared of making their own decisions. Which I think is kind of sad. I think they should be able to, with confidence, tell a story that they want to tell. Uh, if that ending was what they wanted to tell, that should have been fine. I personally don't think that was the ending they wanted to tell. I think it was a bit of EA. But that's a whole nother video with EA that the, you can make a video on them. Uh, basically though, they've lost their confidence. So I feel that they're reaching out to their fan base and even with these videos coming out, um, people who aren't necessarily a fan or they didn't like something, they want to bring old fans back in or they want to attract new fans, all that kind of stuff. So they ask, they want to have a right, wide variety of gamers, which can be good, can be bad, because maybe they'll take too much advice from certain things and all that. Uh, things can go wrong as long but as long as they don't focus solely on this survey which obviously that would be incredibly stupid if they did but I don't think they will. Uh, all should be good. It's a pretty good idea for an early-ish game. I'm, I don't think it's coming out until... I, I have no idea when it's coming out but I don't foresee it anytime soon. Uh, and by the way, basically, I think they're scared, especially since this jump from not having Commander Shepard in the next game. So that's another thing that might, um, if they're not done right, it might annoy some people and, again, lose some fans. Me, personally, I'm a big fan of Mass Effect, big fan of role-playing games. Love my games. Uh, have, I have tons behind me right now. So... If you're, a, if you're a gamer and you like to get your opinion heard, uh, please share this video, make your own video telling uh, people what your opinion is, all that. Comment below what your opinion is, why you think Bioware have done this, and I'll leave a link below in the description so you guys can take the survey yourself. It takes about a minute, it's not too much of a bother. Uh, yeah, uh, my name's Germs, uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.